all those people celebrating blue skies too, because that <laughs> video, the weather just looked perfect. It was. Yeah. We could not have gotten a better Seafair weekend overall. Mm -hmm. the, all the flights were just perfect viewing for them, mm -hmm. and they didn't uh, they didn't have to change anything really because of the weather. Right. Love it when that happens. I know. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> and now we're cooling off, and a lot of us love that when it happens after a sunny, hot day. Boy, we are getting down to the low 70s now around Puget Sound with 72 at Shoreline and 74 in Seattle. Temperatures also feel so good when they start getting into the Upper 50s, maybe? That's where we are on the coast. We've got a little bit of cooling on the coast because marine air is coming back to influence the picture. So we go downtown to the waterfront, mostly clear, and it feels great. Still feels like a nice summer evening. Tonight, we expect clear, mild conditions. Temperatures around the city in the low 60s. Outlying spots will get into the mid to upper 50s. Winds are expected to stay out of the north, and they're going to be kind of calm tonight into the morning hours, and that may cause some areas of low clouds to develop, especially marine air all along the coast. You can see that we have a little bit of low cloud cover creeping up towards the coast right now on the satellite. But really what's happening is high pressure has been keeping us nice and dry. It's helping us warm up quite a bit too. Well, we've got a couple more days western Washington to stay dry and hot. But east of the Cascades is where we're going to have some dangerous hot conditions by the time we hit Tuesday, Wednesday. That's when we'll definitely be in triple digit heat in central and eastern Washington. In addition to having some of those smoky conditions, it might be a little uncomfortable just to let you know Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, we really want some cooling to come in by Thursday, and it does look like that may arrive, but it could cause some thunderstorms. Here's the big weather maker that's going to really hit as we get into Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Upper level low pressure. We've got to watch this because it's been changing constantly. So conditions right now look like it'll impact us mainly on the weekend. So here's what we have for you. The UW high resolution model showing low clouds coming to the coast with a nice marine onshore flow becoming northerly for Puget Sound. As we go from now into tomorrow morning, most of the low cloud cover, it goes onto the coast, but parts of the southwest. Not quite reaching into Olympia, but we'll see some of that come through the Chehalis Gap and creep up towards Shelton and Tahuya. We'll We'll also have a little bit of low clouds through parts of the strait, but it clears up pretty fast tomorrow. We get right back to the sunshine. So temperatures tonight, mid to upper 50s. You'll wake up to 56 degrees in Shelton. That'll feel really nice after today in the low 90s. We go to the 50s also for the north and most of our cities in the island county back to the mid 70s. So tomorrow's another really warm, nice day. Sunshine's coming through for us around Lake Washington. Temperatures reaching up close to 90, 89 for Bellevue and 87 for Bremerton. And around Olympia, Bud Bay, great day to be there. 88 degrees for Olympia, 87 would go towards Yelm. And on the coast, upper 60s to low 70s. Again, a little low clouds, but they're gonna break away for lots of sunshine. So that'll continue to repeat itself on Tuesday, but Tuesday after Afternoon into the evening, we'll start to see signs of change. That low pressure sitting offshore will begin to threaten to send in maybe a little bit of drizzle. And it looks like we might get that on Thursday morning. Otherwise, that's really when we'll feel the temperature cool down for highs, mid 70s Thursday. Staying in the mid 70s Friday and that big low pressure offshore. Well, hello, we'll say to it on our Saturday and early Sunday morning as it's going to bring us possibly a few showers. Right now it's uh, it's negotiable how much uh, weather grief it will cause. So. All right, let's keep an eye on. Thank yeah. you, Rebecca. We'll <laughs>